I got this small 12 volt heater from Harbor Freight about 15 bucks and it's rated 13 amps at 12 volts so 156 watts so we'll say it's 160 watts we'll find out pretty soon what it is and it, it's it's tiny and I'm unboxing it it comes with um, a little stand you mount it wherever you want it to be mounted up has a double-sided tape with two screws to connect it to the heater which I will not use and comes with a manual owner's manual so this is the This is the unit right out of the box with the plastic remove. There's the 12 volt. It has a handle. But you could hold the heater locally. It has heat or fan. You could be the heat or fan. And I guess this is the the light switch for has lights on it. That's it. Can't adjust the heat. So we connect it to the apex. Turn on the apex. Connect this guy to the apex. And heat. There's heat. It has a little red light telling you that it's on. It's making a little heat. And it's saying it's at the 141 watts. It's the first time I'm turning it on. And um, the Apex saying it's at 12. Point two volts on the load. I wonder what it is without the load. Okay. Okay. It's good. So it's a 12.45 without without the load so it's fully charged. Okay. It's fully charged. I thought it was fully charged so I want to verify. So um If if we turn off the heat, it has a light. Only one light. It has a second light, but I thought they would both light up, but it only has one light. This is with the heater on, so it has a red light to tell you that the heater is on. Okay. And the light with it. So right now we're the with 137 volts with the light on now that's watts 100 136 watts 100, before it was 137 so the light obviously is no energy to it it's an LED light turn off the fan turn off the heater and it says 4 watts and without anything plugged in, four watts. So when um, the light is totally insignificant in terms of power, like totally insignificant. So I turn it off. And um, we'll have to see how it does. One hundred forty watts. It may come up to to the 156 watts. I don't know. It is getting hotter, <laughs> so it's definitely warming up. And heat is heat, you know. 
Don't know how I'll do heating up. Heat is heat. I know that from my experience. Heat is heat. This guy's really getting hot. 140 watts. Good. 12.16. So the voltage is dropping, but we'll have to see how it does. And it's roughly 6.12 at night. But I think I'm going to turn it off now and fire it up later at night and see what it does. Wow, it's getting hot. Yeah, it's getting hot. So it is, it's definitely giving out 140 watt of heat. And we're 12.16 volts. Okay. So I am going to turn it off. You know, turn it on later. I don't know if I'll keep it on the whole night or not. I'll have to see. If I get too hot, I'm not going to keep it on all night. So, see you guys later. So we have the World Shock Heater Defroster from Hopper Freight. And it's rated for 13 amps, 12 volts. And the socket on the Energy Apex is rated 15 amps at 180 watts. And this will be less than 160 watts. Mathematically, 157 watts. So, it could handle it on the DC. If we have a problem, we'll find out. And this is the air intake. This is the coil. It's a really small coil. I mean, I put my finger on it or my thumb on it. And you could gauge the size of it. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to turn it on. And we'll use it overnight or as long as it lasts. So there's the on-off switch. And I turn it on. There's a red light indicating that it's producing heat. This is the heat mode. And this continuation from before, it's not saying 90, 99% of the battery, 336 watts. And under load, the battery sits at uh, 12.16. It's already putting out nice heat. And we'll just see how it does. It has a little light to indicate that power is flowing to it. I'm going to turn it off. Oops, that's the light. I'm going to turn it off. It has... Um, 15 amp fuse. There's the 15 amp fuse right there. And since it's protected by 15 amp fuse and the outlet can run at 15 amps fully fully protected plus the energy apex has its own protection. But it's still better. I did find out from before that the element gets hot. It's not red, so I have it on fan. Now, now I have it on 
on on heat. A little bit disappointing is that the cable got hot. So the element gets hot, but the cable got hot. So kind of untwist it. Kind of make sure that it's not twisted. Okay, so it kind of stays cool. And I'm going to run it for tonight. And we'll see how it does. 132 watts. Well below the 180 watt specification of the of the socket, 12 volt socket. So we we're really in good position. And then we run it. We'll see how we do tonight. We'll see how we feel. How it holds up the temperature. So the the apex been firing the heater for five and a half hours, and it's saying that there's twenty nine percent time the battery. It's at uh, 103 watts, which is safe. And then um, it's at 10.5 volts. I lost 62, 62 degrees outside. And I lost uh, 2 degrees while the heater is on. And... Temperature right now is 74 degrees inside. So, um, just, just because I want to go back to sleep a deep mode and I don't know exactly how the Apex would behave and very low voltage on the battery. Um, and I don't see why I should stress the battery. So that's basically what I'm comfortable getting out of the battery. So I'm not even a full night of using, using this uh, heater. So I'm going to uh, turn off the heater. And it's saying the voltage is 10.62 rise, but 29% uh, power. I'm just gonna go to sleep to, with the heater off and uh, It'll get cooler and I may turn it on later to warm it up some more but I'm gonna spend the rest of the night without the heater running just since I'm awake I'm not going to to let the uh, battery get much lower than than it is now. When I get cold and I could monitor it myself later, then I'll fire it back on. That means I cannot get a uh, full night's sleep with Without the battery getting really, really low, which I don't want to do. If it happens, then I'll deal with it and see how the the apex reacts to it. So in summation, summation, I uh,
I turned it back on. Just to see how the battery's reacting. Yeah. 90, 96 watts, 103 watts before. Summation, I wish that I could sleep through the whole night and, and not worry about the battery. So I could just know I could take uh, deep sleep through the whole night. But uh, Twenty nine percent I I don't feel comfortable. So I'm going to go to turn it off and go to sleep. <laughs>